Hello, welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. I'm so excited because today is going to be all about my home, a little bit of a home tour, a little update, and all about the vintage treasures scattered about my home. sponsor for today's video which is Blue Land. Blue Land has become my source for sustainable and reusable cleaning products and this partnership came at the perfect time because whenever I come back from just being gone for the last few weeks I get into kind of cleaning mode, reorganizing mode, and just getting my house all settled back in. So I was so excited to partner with Blue Land on this video. And something I've noticed is that I have been wasting and throwing away so many single-use plastic bottles and I really wanted to make a change with that and that's why I'm so excited about what Blue Land does. Forever bottle, and it's got marked on the bottle what it's for and then they send you tablets that are made with all clean ingredients, they're effective, they're safe and I just love that I can put this into a forever bottle instead of throwing away so many single-use plastic bottles. I got the Clean Essential and Hand Soap Duo Kit and the scent of the hand soap is Iris Agave. It smells delicious. I'm very particular about my scents. And so I love that I have this really amazing hand soap right here in my kitchen that I can use all the time and just keep refilling that forever bottle. I also, every single night, the last thing I always do is I run through, I spray down all my counters and do a big clean on them. I'm very, that's one of the things I actually like cleaning for some reason. I love just like finishing off the counter. I've been loving using the multi-surface cleaner on all of my counters and it even comes in a cute bottle and I just feel so much better using these products. They're really just a better product and better value. The Blue Lens tablets only start at two dollars or 155 if you buy in bulk so you're just saving a ton of money and you know that you're using clean products and it's so simple basically all you do is you take your forever bottle you fill it up with warm or hot water then you drop your tablet into the bottle you put the cap on it let it sit in there and dissolve you don't have to shake it or anything it will just completely absorb into the water and basically in a few minutes you're ready to just start using the products and I'm just so excited to be using all of these blue land products and I just get really excited when I discover things like this and get to share them with you all and I have an offer for you if you click the link down below you're gonna get 15% off your first kit and they don't usually do this that often so for my followers if you click the link in the description down below you're gonna get 15% off and you're gonna get to start using all of these products as well let me know what you end up with and also what your favorite scent for the hand soap is because I've tried out a few but I'm really loving the iris agave all right, and now it's time to take a little tour of my home. It is all clean. I mean, I have reality in here as well because, you know, there's just things that pile up. But I'm just going to give you a little updated tour of my home. I always love sharing it with you. And it really is an extension of always play dress up because to me, my house and what I wear is all from always play dress up and so many pieces are secondhand the way I love to style my clothes so a lot of these are just vintage and thrift finds that I've found over the last oh my goodness 17 years as we've kind of collected and uh, moved into our homes so are you ready to go see my house let's go hello and welcome to my home my yellow door I know we've started here before, but I thought, why not just bring you all in as if you're a guest in my home and we're gonna go hang out. Right when you walk in, you're greeted by my little mini entryway. And this really kind of is setting the tone for the rest of the house. I chose to do a green wall and accent it with really fun colors, prints, art, different textures. I think just like I mentioned, my home is where I always play dress up as well and so I approach it with the way that I would create an outfit where there's juxtaposed ideas, there's different 
elements. It's not all mid-century. It's not all bohemian. It's not minimalism. It's a combo of everything. And I really do love every little spot to feel like a story is happening. And I think actually that's the way I approach so many of my outfits as well. And so it just kind of translates into my home. You'll see here some of my favorite pieces of art that I collected at a few flea markets. You may remember I picked up this gorgeous portrait when I was with Annette at the Rose Bowl flea market. And I also picked up this amazing tapestry at the Long Beach flea market. And I think I was with Annette for that one as well. So I love that I have stories of pieces that I've collected with friends. And then really all the other pieces are from thrift stores that I found over the years, some of my travels. And even just down to realistic everyday living, I have a big basket here underneath the entry table that catches, you know, shoes, hats, things that the boys drop off. And the little bowl here on the entry also often catches keys, coins, you know, all those little things. And my husband does love to play music, so we have a ukulele there that he's had for years, and sometimes the boys like to take it off the wall and play with it. <laughs> Right off the entry you come into my bedroom and this is a room you're probably very familiar with if you've uh, followed my channel for a while because behind these, <laughs> behind those curtains is my closet. We just kind of are working with what we have here in the house and in the room. Eventually someday maybe a fabulous closet will uh, come to fruition. But for now, I use this space as my closet and it really actually works pretty well. This room has taken so many different forms, but I really love where it's at right now. It's an explosion of color, print, <laughs> textures. I guess that's just gonna be on repeat pretty much through all of this. Lots of collected art. I really love all of my art to feel very one of a kind and special. I often look for art in thrift stores that have been signed by the artist and even have the date because then I know it's not a reproduction or you know just something quick that I've picked up at a store. It actually feels really personal. And here in my bedroom I had the idea to collect a bunch of faces and have a big wall collage of uh, portraits and that took a little bit of time because I really had to search and find each one of these but I love all of the different pieces that I found and that ended up on the wall here and then I really just had fun with the bed I did a really brightly colored headboard from West Elm and this is just a quilt that I picked up from Urban Outfitters thrown over an amazing one from Brooklinen and I like the layering, the textures, all the different colors exploding here on the bed. And this room does kind of act as my closet. So you'll really see that I have so many elements throughout the room that function to put hats, accessories, shoes, all of the different items that I need for playing dress up. I get a lot of questions about my added wardrobe that I've put in the room. And this is from Ikea and it's, I think, part of their pack system. You really can customize and design whatever closet or wardrobe you need. And so I loved this because this became a place for a lot of my jewelry, a lot of my accessories that I used to have a really hard time figuring out where to put everything. So now I have all these amazing drawers and trays and it just makes it so easy. <laughs> Welcome to my living room, which I think might be my favorite room in the house. One thing I loved about this house when we bought it was this central fireplace that I knew eventually we would rip the walls out and just have the fireplace. I think you've seen this update, but we painted it black and I just really love kind of that accent right there in the center of the house. And then we have the black and white walls running throughout this center and everything happens within this space, which I really love. And to me, the color palette in this room probably feels the most connected to the colors that I love, which I feel like I'm wearing them today, but kind of that burnt orange, yellows, peaches, rose, browns, rusty colors, definitely a very 70s color palette happened in this room. And really, I think that's 
the most me color palette there is probably so that's probably why it showed up in this room again this room has taken so many shapes and forms and I think you saw in a recent home tour video that I had gotten this really incredible tapestry pink couch and it wrapped around and then I shared the update that we took away the wrap around and we just made it one long couch I accented the room with this really incredible black and gold chair with my little conversation chairs as I like to call them and layering the rugs everywhere the wall collage has been here since the very beginning that is a kind of staple to me throughout the house. I love the really tall ceilings and the way that it can kind of really accent how amazing all of those pieces of art are. And again, that was another one of the kind of ongoing collections that I had to build over the years. And a few of those pieces came from our last two places. So that's kind of been cool to travel with and bring gems from other homes into this home, though we've been in this home now for Think going on 10 years which is amazing and we love it so much I added this really great wall table after we rearranged the couch and I like to accent that table with some really interesting art books and different collections pottery I like to switch that out here and there as much as I can and whenever I find kind of new tchotchkes I feel like that's where they end up I also had a lot of fun playing with our central table here in the room and arranging a little bit of some coffee table books, uh, pottery, and then even some family photo albums. And the theme of layering is huge in this room. There's layered rugs, there's layered pieces of furniture on top of each other, there's layering of books. I do a lot of layering in this room. I guess that's why I like to layer with my outfits as well. And there's definitely an explosion of green. I always like to bring in a lot of plants and have fun with those. And again, I would say about 97% of the things in this room have been found. Facebook marketplace, thrift stores, vintage stores, flea markets, travels. It is all one big massive collection. <music> to the dining room slash kitchen which you can go back and watch I have a video of the renovation that we ended up doing on the house there used to be a lot more walls a tiny kitchen and little sitting area and we kind of just made it one big open space which I have really loved definitely a highlight in our dining room is this incredible marble table that I found I think on Facebook marketplace for $35 these chairs were found with a net at the Rose Bowl flea market and then I've been slowly working on the wall here on the side of the dining room I have this amazing piece of art that I've had forever and I love it and then I've really been kind of collecting that little nook right there I did a collaboration with Margot where we both thrift vintage hunted for a new section in our house and that was what resulted from it and I really love the pieces that I found and how it all came together and I also recently just found this amazing lamp I love it it feels very old world to me and like I mentioned I love to have a lot of variety when it comes to the different aesthetics in the room I don't want just a marble table was like everything super 80s and all of that I want to mix it up and I think that's for me where the magic happens in the house is the collection of everything and I even love just some of the art has been with me for so long probably 20 years and so I love that I've had some of these pieces for a really long time and they have been put in places that feel really special in my home and the kitchen is really great I chose to kind of do a black and white theme with some gold accents mainly because I knew that's something that I've really loved forever and I wouldn't want to change it <laughs> too soon I was scared that if I got locked into something really specific then I might not like it in a few years so I went a little more classic but with some glamour still some of the touches that I love I chose black and white throughout this entire house and we've been in it for 10 years and I still love it so I knew that I would like that in the kitchen and then from there I've just kind of collected and added things to bring in more personality to the kitchen but I really just feel like the overall design speaks for itself Victoria Smith she's an amazing home designer I'll link her down below I worked with her and I just feel like she helped me to really just set the tone 
with the kitchen design and then I can just frost it. And then you head down this hallway that has my two boys rooms and then a bathroom and also a kind of hangout den slash workspace that I worked on last year and I think I have a whole video just about the update I did on that room but I'll show you guys again it's always hard to show you this part of the house it's a little darker down the hallway but one of the things that I love is this amazing green design that a friend of mine did Janice Harris she came over one night I was talking about how I wanted a little frame over my doorway and she just painted it just on a whim and I absolutely love it. It's so dreamy. And then the hallway, I did a green ceiling and into the office. I, I don't know why, they're very low ceilings in our house. We have a flat roof. And so in some way, I almost wanted to accent that instead of trying to make it look like it wasn't low. So I put a framed green ceiling and trim through the hallway and into the office. And I actually really like how it turned out and I did more of a glossy paint so that it has some glamour and shine. And then I found this amazing huge art piece that I've added to the hallway and I love. And I love this amazing mirror at the end of the hall. Mirrors always make rooms feel bigger. And so I liked the idea of the hallway feeling longer with that mirror. on my tour is the office slash den slash jam room and I love how this room turned out it really has become such a cozy space in the house and we used to use this more as a guest room slash office and then made the change I think sometime last year by putting in a couch that we recovered and really made it more of a den hangout and I've loved it I feel like everyone spends time in this room it feels really cozy my husband also can jam and just have fun back here in this room as well. And so this room is probably a little bit more classic with more masculine touches maybe. And I did try to kind of play off some of the uh, music elements for this room. So I have this amazing vintage photograph of the Who practicing in the 70s at Angel Stadium, which is so cool because that's around the corner from us. And then this piece of art to me felt like a, a record, like a gold record. And so I love how that felt that way. And then of course we have guitars and amps and all of that around this room. And then I even chose uh, to recover the couch in what feels more of like a color that you would see in a guitar. And so I, I really liked that. I love this lamp that I found in the thrift store and I think I thrifted it in one of my videos that you guys got to see here on my channel. It feels more of something you'd see in an old ranch style house in California in probably the 40s. And I, I liked bringing that into this room. It kind of grounded it. And I found this side table recently that feels like old wood all gnarled and I just liked that little element as well. And then for the bookcase, I wanted to surround it with art and then make it really feel very personalized and full of just different elements that felt connected to either who we are or things that we love even colors, just that idea. And so this to me feels almost as if we've traveled around the world and collected pieces and brought them and sprinkled them all over this shelf. And this rug was such an amazing find that I got again at the Long Beach Flea Market. I always go to the flea markets for rugs. It's my favorite place to find rugs because they always have a ton of options and I just like these old rugs better than new ones. And the green ceiling carries on into this room as well, and I love these curtains that I got from Anthropology. They are such a statement. Again, it has that rusty orange color in it that I really am always drawn to, and so I just really love how this room turned out. I still have some more art to add. I have little elements that I wanna still change up in here, but overall, it's definitely feeling really settled. Last we're in the atrium, which the sun is kind of rough right now for me to show it to you, 
but we kind of renovated this, ripped out what was on the bottom, which was just really old brick, and put in more concrete and kind of created some planter areas. And then recently you can go back and watch my um, summer soiree video. I had found this table on Facebook Marketplace and wanted to basically throw a summer soiree at dinner party. And so that was a new addition to this space was to add a table out here. We realized we weren't using the sitting area as much and I love eating outdoors and so in the evening when it's beautiful this is so perfect to have people out here or just our family and it just feels really magical under the twinkle lights and definitely go back and check that video out if you didn't see it just so you can really see the overall magic of this space and I have come to really love it out here and I can't wait to host you know a fall feast Ooh, yeah a fall feast out here that is it that is my current home tour I am always adding new pieces because it's an endless hunt so I'll keep doing these for you because it's so much fun to just share recent things that I found, things that I'm changing. Um, I don't know what's next, but we'll see. I'll definitely share it in the next home tour. And I really do have so much fun playing dress up here in my house. So thank you for joining me on my home tour. And definitely make sure I'm gonna list down below old home tour videos so you can go check them out. And earlier this year, I did a, a home retrospective video where I went back and shared different inspirations for my home when we first moved in and then kind of new current inspirations and then how it has changed over the years. So I think that's a fun video to look at if you want, if you love home videos. And just for yourself, if you like this style of home, the term that I often search when it comes to home decor is haute eclectic. I find that whenever I put that in Pinterest, um, or even Instagram, a lot of homes that are very much what I love pop up. So if that's something that you're looking to be inspired by, definitely use the search term Haute Eclectic. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also have a weekly email that goes out called The Weekly Scoop, and I fill it with tons of inspiration, Always play dress up club members who wear amazing outfits, shopping tips for vintage things that I'm loving. And I always put that uh, link down below for you to subscribe if you want to join in on the weekly scoop. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.